EA Sports coverage of the NFL is in Houston in the Space City at NRG Stadium. Today it's an intra-division matchup in the AFC South as it'll be the Jacksonville Jaguars taking on the Houston Texans. And we are underway from NRG Stadium in Houston. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Stroud looks to throw on the first play. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full ten here to pick up the first down and move the chains. And that's exactly what defenses talk about. You've got to find ways to get off the field when you can, especially on third down and third down defense. Going to be vital in this game. Able to knock that one away and force a fourth down. Man open. That's complete to Dalton Schultz. And he is going to have a Texans first down on a big play there. A gain of 14 on what was a fourth and 10. And they'll go play action here with Stroud. Jaguar pressure and a Jaguar sack. Devon Hamilton gets him for a loss of eight. What great push up front. Stroud now on second down. And he finds his target. It's Schultz. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. So in Jacksonville territory now. Here's a first and ten at the 49-yard line. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. Devon Hamilton with the tackle. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. It's been a pretty long drive. This will be play number nine, and they need 10 yards out of it on third. Throwing now is Stroud. Schultz hauls in the quick throw, and he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 39. Stroud. Open man is Noah Brown. That's good for a gain of six, and it's second down. Pierce takes it straight ahead. Touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. From the end zone, it's Dearness Johnson. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up, first and 10 at their own 27. They'll try and start this drive in the air. This one's incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. Second and ten. Here's Lawrence again. That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. Big strides. Look at him go. Touchdown, Jaguars. Evan Ingram 
73 yards. And the Jaguars are able to strike back quickly with an opening touchdown of their own. Extra point from McManus is good. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And a nifty return there all the way across the 40. In a tie game, both sides are looking for something to give them an advantage. It often falls back on special teams. And that return, that could be the spark to untie the game. Stroud's throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's a second down and six. And Stroud now to throw. His throw incomplete. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test him early. But it proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. Stroud on third down now. And the throw there going to be incomplete. And that is how you respond after taking one on the chin to begin this game. Give up a first drive touchdown, go back out on defense, and completely shut them down to force a three and out. Now, meanwhile, they go for it on fourth down, and my goodness, incomplete. On first and ten, it's ETN. And so we're in the maneuver. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Outside handoff to the right side. If you're a running back, you love getting The Jags with the football to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a first and ten. They'll go again with ETN. A strong, broken tackle on that one. And then they get him to the ground, just shy of the 15. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. They'll try the left side with ETN. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front. And the pass is intercepted. He was looking for Ingram. Picked off by the former first rounder, Jimmy Moore. And the Texans are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38 yard line. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. A kind of a lucky break on the prior drive, Charles. The turnover on downs that the offense had didn't come back to bite them after the other side of their defense came through, was able to hold them without any points. I would agree with you, partner. A little bit of a lucky break indeed, but you know what they'd say to us. No luck, just pure skill. We rose to the challenge, and we didn't permit a score. That's how we roll. Well, I'm kind of curious, Charles, if they might temper their aggressiveness now offensively if they get in that fourth down spot again. Yeah, one would think so, but maybe because they held them, they might go for it again. The Texans on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and 17. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense if that fell harmlessly to the ground. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. He's going to take a shot right away for the end zone. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball. But he was unable to get away from the defender. Couldn't create space. Couldn't uncover at the end of the route. And that one winds up incomplete. Second and 10 now. It's Lawrence. will fortunately wind up out of bounds. Great vision there by Lawrence as he scrambles for a first down.
Now back to throw. And he'll go down. Brought down at the 20-yard line. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Here's Lawrence to throw. Flush to his right. Well, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Forced out to his left. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings him fourth down. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through the completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. The kick by McManus is good. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. They're coming off a fourth down gamble that last drive that backfired CD, but really not as badly as it could. Their defense held up and only gave up three points. And what they want to do is play off the momentum the defense gave them. Only giving up the three points in that situation after they failed on fourth down. Now they want to make it pay off. They want to pay homage to the defense and have their own drive pay off in points for themselves. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. All right, help me out here a little bit, partner, because what I'm seeing is a passing game that's just struggled to complete anything. No rhythm, no timing. Seems like every pass is also contested well, so give some credit to the defense. Now here's a throw that's complete, and he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And he'll go down, shy of the 40 at the 41. It's hurry up mode time for the Texans, hustling up to the line. Stroud off the play fake. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Stroud working out of the gun. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Rayshon Jenkins picks it off. And the Jags are going to take over once again at their own 25-yard line. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. They'll start on the ground, ETN. 41 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Lawrence now off the bootleg. Steps away. The ball comes out, and the Texans scoop it. Room here to run. He may go. And they will bring this one back. A fumble return for a Texans touchdown. On for the PAT, Kaimi Fairbear. And that makes it 14 10. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And they're going to wind up with pretty good starting field position as they get it up past the 35. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And with good starting field position and three timeouts as well in their pocket, no reason not to try and put a late scoring drive together. Now ETN to start the drive. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Lawrence steps away to his left. 
Oh, wide open, complete. And he's going to be pushed out of bounds inside the 10-yard line. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Here's Lawrence. Buying time to his left. And he's able to work it here to the 8-yard line. Here's second and goal operating from the 8-yard line. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Now Lawrence to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Parker, Washington. In the final seconds of the first half. And the Jaguars have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. McManus's point after is good. And it's now 17-14. So with three seconds remaining in the half, they will line up to kick this one away. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. A field goal, the difference. 17-14 is the score. Back underway here now in this third quarter. Well, certainly not what they wanted out of the locker room here as they'll start defensively at the 40-yard line. A give running right, ETN. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see how spot it right at midfield at the 50. And the offense moving quickly to the line. From midfield now, Lawrence. And he will find Ridley. That's complete. He's got room at the 30. Down to the 10. Touchdown, Jaguars. Calvin Ridley. 50 yards. And the Jaguars come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Extra point from McManus is good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. Well, the opposition laid down the challenge and opening drive touchdown here to start the second half. And Charles, now you feel like this group needs to get an answer because this all of a sudden is a two-score game. Well, yeah, you're right about that. It was a small magical spread to overcome. A little bit more daunting now. I think you're exactly right. Pressure is on because you don't want them getting the ball back with a chance to really extend this lead out. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. And they'll go play action here with Stroud. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. Devin Boyd on the coverage defensively. Here's Stroud. As this complete to Woods. And he'll only get this to the 47. He needed a few more yards to pick up the first. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Let's go now. Bronco switch. Bronco switch. Tempo, 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 tempo. They'll try and run for it. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. Stroud to throw it. A short one going to be taken in here by Schultz. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and that will bring up second down. Back to throw. Here's Stroud. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. 
Now with a rookie quarterback out there, you definitely got to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. We'll get this out wide to Singletary. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Singletary, they'll run for it. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. And now they're in the hurry up. Quick slant here to Woods. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Throwing now is Stroud. Caught on the slam. Touchdown. Noah Brown. A nine-yard touchdown Brown. And the Texans are back within a score. Extra point by Fairbairn. Up and good. And that cuts the lead to three. 24-21. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. Out of the end zone comes Johnson. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. They were able to extend their lead with an opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter, but that just got matched a moment ago. So we know that what they discussed at the half worked. Now, what are the counters to that, right? You don't just run the same things over and over. Some do, but many will also show something and then come back with something else to keep the defense off balance. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 66 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Looking to throw, Lawrence. Airing it out, looking for Ridley. It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown, Jaguars. Calvin Ridley. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Jaguars are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. McManus's point after is good, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up, and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, and I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. And he will be taken down with a big pickup there on what's going to be the final play of the third quarter. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 44-yard line. A shotgun snap to Stroud. This is caught. It's Woods. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. That's back-to-back -back plays of over 20 yards. On first down, here's Stroud. That is caught at the 7. And he will reach the 5-yard line before going out of bounds. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. And he gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. Damian Pierce, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Texans have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Fairbairn good with the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbear now to kick it away. Out of the end zone comes Johnson. 
Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. Pass midfield, look out. Dearness Johnson, he's inside the 20. And he'll bring it back all the way. Touchdown. McManus now for the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. At their own 26 yard line. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He started out having some troubles back in the first half connecting with his receivers. Really hasn't gotten a whole lot better. Yeah, he's at less than 50%, and you and I both know that just won't do. So I would think about spreading things out, putting it on the receivers, make them win those one-on-one -on -one battles on the perimeter and find their way open. First target, first catch, and a first down. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. Over the middle, complete. It's Schultz. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Play action. Here's Stroud. That's caught again by Schultz. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Another first down as he went right back to the same well, this time for 17 yards. Throwing again is Stroud. Tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Andre Sisco. And the Jaguars are going to have it here just past the 25. Throwing now, Lawrence on first down. Airing it out, looking for Ridley. And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, Jaguars. Calvin Ridley.